This is gonna be a very, very cool show tonight. Finally in Toronto, now headed on the train to downtown Toronto. Feels super important with these uh, little lanyards. Gold flake, metallic. Come on. Doing a vlog on how to be a TM. How to be a TM. <laughs> First step, go to Lululemon. Purchase these shorts. They have four-way stretching in every direction. So you can do this, you can flex easily. If someone comes on stage, you can get a nice good kick, kick them off into the crowd. Does that help your performance when you hit the CO2 button? I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> someone got a video of me, I was like, I was like, I was like dancing that way, and also like, I was like. <laughs> Thank you. You're for the DJs, right? Yes, sir. I'm a little heavy. Yeah, these things are heavy. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Okay. It looks like it was uh, out of Terminator Judgment Day. You know, like, mm -hmm. especially at night when I turn off the lights because I can disable the front and rear lighting on it. Mm -hmm. So it just, it's stealth mode, just kind of hovering, staring at you. Do you ever watch those videos from Boston Dynamics? Yes, those things scare the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Filming. Here we go, we're gonna follow it. Oh, oh wait, stop, 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 stop. That's a lot of wind. That yeah, right. But I've never had it fall had it before falling in. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> there were more cameras than people involved in that whole scenario, dude. I'm gonna walk I'm gonna have it walk in with us. I'm gonna Snapchat glasses you. You may Snapchat glasses the way. The drone whisperer. Phenomenal. Fuck yeah. Today's venue, Rebel in Toronto, had a command wing and a fader wing installed as their house lighting control system. So I didn't have to bring anything of my own this time. I'd say the most difficult part of this programming session was getting the little 360i dot fixtures on the three circular automated trusses in the middle of the room to uh, work with the rest of my show file and be a unique part of the show, uh, even though my cloning isn't designed for circular trusses. I actually ended up putting the infinite pan and tilt on a temp fader with an even odd rotation direction. So I could switch between normal pan tilt mode and then with the press of a button on screen, I could switch over to continuous mode and use a fader to spin opposite directions with adjacent fixtures. If I drop it, it's because- Yeah, but then this will be a good video. Are you ready? Yeah, it'll be, uh, okay, yeah, I'm ready. All right, three, two. <laughs> this is gonna be a very, very cool show tonight. This is so cool. Yeah, you can see, see everything. The yeah, the bus is here. Hey! Don't close! No, we got back! Wait, what? That's alright. That's alright. Oh, you guys are going? We're in the venue. Sorry, I'm late. I just <laughs> no, it's waited. Okay. Playing at 11, so as long as we can get there in time. <laughs> yes. I'm always taking note of how different venues allocate their resources when it comes to lighting, sound, video, and other ancillary production elements like lasers or special effects. Of course, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to evaluating the lighting side of things. I always think the budget for lighting should be double what it is. And in the case of Rebel, I have to say, everything is very, very well balanced. Rebel obviously has a huge focus on video. And normally I would knock a few points off of a venue for not having strobes or blinders of any sort, especially with how many EDM acts come through. But thankfully they use their LED wall in creative enough ways to where I didn't really even miss having the Atomics. Oh, okay, I missed having the Atomics, but they still did a good job of making it seem like they were there.
In addition to the massive LED wall, there was also a Madrix server running all the different LED strips throughout the ceiling and along the walls in the rest of the venue. And I must apologize, I didn't have enough time to talk to the automation tech who was in charge of operating the moving rings in the center. I wanted to get to know a lot more about that system. I believe it was a Kinesis system. Rigging automation is super expensive and the training involved in it is pretty rigorous. It's one thing I kind of want to learn how to do, but I just, I don't have the time right now. It is possible for those systems to take a DMX input and I can trigger them via DMX, but we didn't have time to set it up. And honestly, they had a bunch of presets that looked great already. And I was able to just call out different cues to the automation tech. When this whole tour got announced, I did a bunch of research on the different venues, you know, doing my due diligence, and Rebel stood out as possibly my most anticipated venue of the entire run. And honestly, everything on this show went exactly according to plan, which almost never happens in production world. As far as I could tell, nobody dropped the ball on either side of the fence. And when that happens, great shows happen. show is over it went phenomenally well and I'm gonna go celebrate now by dumping all the footage off my camera <laughs> why Dope. It, it will cut you up I'm telling you oh uh, yeah is that tonight that is just going to about do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. What did you like? What didn't you like? I wanna hear. And you can always follow me down below on my social media accounts down in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.